There seems to be a common bit of information about mangroves, specifically regarding their roots. I have noticed that a lot of people believe that if your mangrove root is damaged in any way, that means the entire mangrove plant will die. I've noticed this bit of information all over internet forums, videos, and also upon people's feedbacks for sellers of mangroves on certain things like eBay, where the roots were damaged in transit and now the buyer is very unhappy because their mangrove tree will die. I'm gonna be putting this to the test in this video because I have no idea where this piece of information has come from and whether anyone has actually tested it themselves. The thing I find about people's opinion on forums is they tend to propagate over time from initial interpretations that someone may have even come up with 10 years or more ago. So in this video, we're gonna be putting this to the test. I have got three mangrove seedlings here, which I've had in my systems for about a month and a half. I'll show you where they are living. So you can see my top system here. Of course, I've got a lot of other mangroves here as well. And these are all from the same shipment. When I received them about a month and a half ago, they had no roots and they certainly didn't have any leaves. So this is the growth under the conditions that they're in. And what I'm gonna be doing is on this big one here, we're gonna be taking off 100% of the roots. On this one, we're gonna be taking off a roughly half of the roots. And on this third one, we're gonna be taking off the roots entirely, but also we're gonna be cutting off the leaves as well. So from past experience, I know that when you cut the budding tip of a mangrove off, it actually promotes more foliage to grow in a more bushy manner. We're actually gonna be cutting the entirety off, including these two leaves, to see the effect of completely derooting and defoliating one of these pods to see if it can recover. I'm not gonna be doing this in a particularly nice way. It's gonna be a bit of a hack job. I'm just gonna be cutting them off using these scissors and then I'm just gonna be placing them back into the environment where they were growing quite happily. So in terms of environmental change, there's zero. In terms of damage to the plant, it will be as described. So the reason I'm doing this is just to clear it up. I don't like things where people say stuff is true just because they heard it. And this is what we're gonna do. Just simply cut the roots off right back to the bud. Now it does strike me as odd that a mangrove, which is one of the toughest trees on the planet, wouldn't be able to survive this. If you imagine where mangroves are situated along really tropical typhoon swept coastlines, then you know, at some point a mangrove root may be damaged. I can't believe that a single piece of damage to a mangrove seed pod should kill it in such a way. So there's the first derooting. You can see I've cut it right back. Obviously there are still some little roots there, which I'll try and scrape away with my fingernail, get it as derooted as possible. But in any case, this is more than enough to test our hypothesis that a mangrove tree can survive this damage. So we'll just put that straight back into its environment. This one, we won't go as hardcore with it. We'll just chop half the roots off and see how it survives. So I haven't touched the top there, just chopped half the roots off. But according to people's theories, that alone is enough to kill the plant. And on this one, unfortunately, we're gonna treat it rather badly. We're gonna take this off, this off, and this off and we're going to take off the bud wow now that is pretty mean isn't it i feel quite bad about it but it'll be interesting to see how this recovers if it ever does so i've placed them back in the tubs i've put them in a separate tub i did have mangroves growing in this one as well so i do know that this tub is great environment for them to grow in so it's no issue in terms of changing their environment you can see on this end we've got no roots and no top in the middle, we've got half roots removed, and on the end, we've got complete roots removed. I have put them touching the substrate because that is how they were growing, and we're just gonna observe them. So I'm gonna cut the video now, probably come back in around two weeks, because two weeks was roughly the time it took for my seed pods to start developing roots, and I think that's about the right time to see whether these plants can sort of come back from this damage. 
Okay, so it has been a month and a half since we mutilated these mangrove trees. And the reason why I'm filming now is because something's happened over the last couple of days, which I think we can now kind of draw a line under this and look at whether or not doing damage to a mangrove seed pod completely destroys it. I will do an update again in probably two months um, because these things are quite slow growers, so this isn't a long enough period of time to strictly say yes or no, but I think we can at least come up with a little bit of a synopsis to my question. So let's have a look at the seed pods. Right, so you might notice that there is actually four now, and that's because a guy on Instagram, Inland Reef, was very interested in this little experiment, and he asked me to cut the roots off one of them and then put super glue all over where I'd cut the roots off. I think he can explain the reasons to this better than I can. Um, something to do with osmotic pressures. But I've done it anyway, and hopefully this answers his questions. But let's get back to what's happened. So if you remember, I cut all the roots off that one. I cut all the roots off that one and the um, sort of growing tip. And then on this one, I only cut half the roots off. Well, it's pretty obvious that the mangroves are making a bit of a recovery. If we start over here with no roots and but leaving the tips, you can see that there aren't any more roots growing on this plant for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's taking a bit longer. But on the other hand, there is growth at the top. We've got two new leaves developing. So that's obviously a month's worth of the growth. It's developed two leaves. We are losing a leaf on the bottom row. I don't know if that's related to the roots being cut off, but who knows, but the stem has also grown. So I would say that due to the growth of the new leaves, this seed pod is still alive. And also it is actually still quite firm as you would expect from a healthy seed pod. The one with the no roots and super glue similar sort of thing we've lost a leaf but we do have um, growth at the growth tip not as much as the other one for whatever reason but we do have some root growth there was no roots on there at all it seems to have grown and then just stopped i don't know why that is but there we go that's the result for that the most interesting one i find is the one which we completely mutilated so on the growth tip it's kind of dried up and it's still green the most interesting thing though is on the base if we can get some focusing we have one or two new roots so there we go you can see quite clearly that a mangrove pod can grow new roots if they are completely removed now it'll be interesting to see in the update video in a couple of months whether or not this growth tip sprouts new leaves but i'll continue the experiment we'll do an update a bit further down the line and then on to what i would say is the most common problem so we've got our growth tip we've got our leaves obviously none of these have dropped we still have our growth tip nice and healthy and obviously it's grown in length as well on the base we only cut half the roots off the roots that I left have grown a little bit in length and importantly we have new roots growing brand new sprouting roots and that's why I have decided to end the video today because this is conclusive evidence that even if you damage your mangrove tree if you buy a mangrove tree online or something like that and one of the roots in the package is broken do not believe the people on the forums that say if you damage your mangrove tree roots your entire mangrove tree is doomed to die because it's not there's the evidence there's the proof i'm happy i've done this experiment because that's putting to bed a very old and very badly understood myth about mangrove tree pods they do not die with damage as i thought obviously this is a month so moving on we're going to continue the experiment i'm fairly sure this one's going to be fine 
This one's very interesting because obviously I've taken the leaves off as well, so it's more important what happens on this end, I think, than what happens on that end, but it, this shows it's still alive. Um, this one I don't fully understand, but we'll see what happens, and then this one I think is going to be okay as well. So I'll pop them back in their tub. You can tell me what you think of the video. You can tell me um, how this isn't a fair example of an experiment, and so on and so forth, but in my mind, this is busted <laughs> so thanks so much for watching if you've enjoyed it leave a like below also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already